Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. So we're sitting in our office, obviously, working. Um, and my grandmother texted me and she said, happy sixth. You guys have a long way to catch up to us. 50 years. And I looked at the date. <laughs> And it's our wedding anniversary. It's our wedding We've been married for six years. That's what she meant. Uh, I was like, six years of what? Wedding. Six years of wedding. Marriage. Of wedlock. So, happy anniversary, Happy baby. anniversary, baby. Yes. Not to say that you're getting a false version of me. It's just like, please know that you're not getting the, the, the version of me that Katie gets. Or that my best friend yeah. gets. So, that's been my relationship with it, that there's always been, even though it's transparent completely, there is still a wall between me and social media. What are you doing? What's that? <laughs> are you ready? What's that for? You're making it real. Yes? <laughs> hey YouTube, we're back. We had a really busy day of work. Productive work. And then some cardio. You went swimming. I did. Could you tell? Yeah. Mm. Pull it again. <laughs> Stop. Wow. Okay. It's not safe for children. No, now it's officially not made for kids. So we're going out with a friend for dinner tonight, which is really exciting. Yes, we do still go out to eat when we are in prep the beginning phases. Yeah. Um, really to like clean restaurants, so we'll show you what You'll we see. get. But we're having a pre-dinner snack. <laughs> I have to say, I learned this from another YouTuber. If you're not air frying your green beans, what you're are, if missing... If you're not air frying literally everything you eat. You're missing out. But I had never thought to air fry green beans, and they are just... Superior. Prone front raise. We're using this bench to keep the upper body from rocking at all. So you can see she has no ability to move her upper body to assist the weight up. It is fully being moved by those delts. <laughs> so in this movement, we're doing a horizontal cable reel down row. But you see that she's driving with her elbows back. She's got almost no upper shoulder movement, driving back with the elbows, really getting into those rear delts. All right, seated shoulder press. And you'll notice she is not at the level of her shoulder. She's just slightly in front, which puts the shoulder at a more advantageous position rather than behind you. Come on. Whoosh. Nice, Steve. Single arm, cable lateral raise. Notice how she has this ankle strap on her forearm. What this does is it takes away any uh, forearm or wrist. You'll notice that it's really, truly directed right at the delt, this movement. All right, so we got one arm lap pull down, and you'll see that Katie is keeping her elbow in front of her. Right? So that's so that the entire lat, which also extends to here, is being engaged. Wow. We had an incredible day. It started off with CrossFit. Didn't get footage of that. Okay. Oh, and you went to a dog walk. I uh, just walked the dogs. Okay. Yeah. I got footage. Right. Okay, good. You're amazing. Anyway. So you saw the dogs. You saw the dogs. Uh, then we had a pool party with our friends, and now... Last night, we went out, it wasn't for our anniversary, we went out to watch the Iowa Yukon game and then it turned into a mini anniversary. We got a toast. Uh, but tonight, we're actually doing a date night to one of our favorite places that happens to be relatively prep friendly because we can track it and we'll show you how. It's called a yoga mountain. All right, what are we doing? Okay, so I'm gonna zero out and I'm gonna get 144 grams. Because that's what you put in in advance? Six ounces. Yeah, that's what I put in in advance, so now I measure it. Oh, I love that they combine those two. What else did you get? Yeah. Thank you. So, 
obviously you can go to yogurtology yogurt mountain whatever it is and enjoy froyo and just enjoy the froyo or you can bring your scale and be super precise with your macros because it's all on there and that's the beauty of macros is that you can track technically anything in your macros you ready to go friend for a walk. Leo, sit. Fran, sit. Good puppy. <laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at all the puppies. The big dogs. Happy Sunday. I am half naked, not really. Dressed for the pool. We're doing another pool day. What are you doing? I'm in my I'm in my bathing suit, sorry. Uh -huh. But I wanted to just show you quickly. It's 9.30 in the morning. We've been up for about two hours. <gasps> we already have two full cups of rice ready to go. We already have chicken ready to go. I've got asparagus in the air fryer. This is what we mean by batch prepping on a Sunday morning. It takes maybe an hour to get a protein, a rice, our veggies cooked for the day, and now we're set for the next four days for meals. So that's all you need to do to batch prep. Happy Sunday. Watson. Hi, Watson. Hi. We're hanging out at a friend's house. This is Alyssa. Alyssa, oh say, hey. say hey to the tube. Hey, tube. <laughs> Jamie's getting naked. Oh yeah, there's a big duck right here. Oh, there's a massive duck. So this is a cold plunge that Jamie's gonna sit in for three minutes. Yep, let's, let's just, just do it. Some of the like physiological body signs of or benefits of cold plunge are reducing stress to the body. So your blood pressure lowers, your central nervous system can become more resilient. But for us, we find honestly the biggest benefit to doing this, which is sitting in 40 degree water, is the mental resiliency it builds. You're proving to yourself that you can do hard shit. day to go to the gym yeah but then best laid plans you know what they say if you don't have a big lots where you live I'm really sorry for you like so sad or an Ollie's but I had to choose one it's kind of like in between a dollar store and, and, a, and a Walmart, a Walmart. Yeah. yeah price wise it's in between and like it's got everything people of a wise it's also in between it's fabulous we filmed absolutely none of Target oh my god we're so oh bad my God. at this YouTube thing. You guys, we went. You can see the bags. You know what? We'll do a haul. Oh, that's we'll a good We'll do a call. haul when we get home. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, something that we haven't tried before. That couple we things. Got. Couple things. Oh, okay, we didn't even do the whole. We didn't couple do the things. Haul. It's fine. Dr. Pepper, zero sugar, strawberries, and cream. I'm going to try it, see if it's worth it. I'll tell you. I'll tell you, YouTube. And then we also are going to try... If you know Jamie, these are her absolute favorite cookies, the black and white cookies from, from New, New York. York. We get at least one a day every time we are in New York. So let's try it. Come on, muscles. Mm. Okay. okay, let's go. Okay, so I just want to show people. So you can't bite half the chocolate. You have to bite it this way. Yeah. It's yummy. It's yummy. Uh-huh. Dana would be so proud. Pouring it into a can. In a glass. In a glass. Over ice. Okay. Thoughts? Thoughts. Thoughts? Cheers. Boom. Texture? Taste? Ooh, texture's good. Texture's a great. flat. <gasps> Flavor's good. Just sweet enough. Pen to the open cabinet. Oh my God! So one of our friends who's really into spirituality told me today that 
in light of the eclipse, which took place today, Monday, April 8th, um, it was kind of symbolic to write down things you're looking to let go of and then burn the paper. So, so to close out this week's YouTube, we are going to light our papers on fire. Right, shit we don't want in our life anymore on fire. Get rid of it. Burn it. We don't need it anymore. Bye. You feel good? Yeah.